Hello everybody and welcome back to Nuclear Throne. We are back again with more Territorial Expansion. We actually have a brand new update this time. There is a lot of new stuff going on with Territorial Expansion. In fact, I might as well show you guys, if we go in and load NTTE, we'll see it come up here. We can actually go and have a little look-see. This is the new update here. The Interdimensional Terror. This looks to be a new boss. There's um, new Crystal Heart Chunk things in loot bosses, which is interesting there's new golden weapon skins elite eel spawn stuff on death and there's a bunch of other changes as well like look at all this stuff reduce the size of crystal heart area um increase the enemy spawn reduce the spawn of crystal brains that's great reduce the super ambush event yes finally <laughs> uh weapons there's a new weapon called the entangler the golden tunneler uh, cat chests. I'm not sure what cat chests are, but they offer this ammo. Um, they're now charge weapons. Increase the annihilator slash damage. There's some really cool stuff here. Um, improve the pizza cutter's charge effects. Golden mesh weapons start with at least two shots. Yes, that's another brilliant change. Um, new pet from the crib. That's great. We can get over there. New API because some pets. Some changes to some of the existing pets. And parrot has been massively improved. Those of you who have been watching me play this for a long time have known that I've never played Parrot. Main reason being that I didn't have a, a thumbnail for him, but honestly, I'm gonna waver that um, waver that that part of it, and I'm just gonna go and play the Parrot today, because he's been updated, and a lot of the things I didn't like about him has now changed, which is great. I absolutely love that. And also, a bunch of FPS improvements that's super nice to see. A massive, massive, massive thank you to everyone over at the Territorial Expansion team for just doing such good work on this mod and keeping it up to date and keeping it going with new content and new performance and balance tweaks. I absolutely love that. And we're going to jump on in, as I said here, as Parrot today. I might be able to get a thumbnail in time. If not, I'll, I don't know. I'll find a way. Maybe I'll just stick a picture of an actual Parrot there and put a melon on its head and make it look really derpy. Let's let's find out. Either way, uh, we're going to be jumping on in. We just got to load the other two mods here. Um, let's load up Death Pack as well. Here we go. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really just so ready for this. I'm so ready to jump into some new content. There's not a ton of actual new stuff, but being able to play the new character that's a bit more balanced and more fun to play, and just having a few ch general changes, it's going to make a world of difference, I'm sure. Um, and then we've got to do load mod T-Tank. And we are good to go. Let's jump in as Parrot. So Parrot's pretty interesting. I did actually get a grenade shotgun launcher on him. Um, yeah, Parrot has uh, the ability to have more friends and charm enemies. Very, very interesting character. Like I said, we haven't played as him yet, but we have these feathers that we can collect from opening chests and stuff. So yeah, there you go. Um, we start off with the Parrot as a pet as well. Uh, as you can see, the Parrot is going to collect things for us. We know that already. Uh, but this is going to be so nice. It's going to be so good to be able to uh, play a new character. And we can kind of check out the ability here. As we open chests, we get new of these. And then we can launch a bunch of feathers, which will... Um... I don't actually know how we're doing this. Okay, so when we hold it, it charms an enemy. We, and then when we release, it gives us our feathers back. Okay, cool. So we can try and charm some bigger enemies if possible as well. Uh, let's Let's do this real quick grab you and we'll be on our way and i'm just i'm excited for this it's it's cool to to have new stuff to mess around with and honestly i'm already noticing the performance improvements it feels great so i think we managed to get one of those scorpions under our wraps there yes we did so now we can let him kind of deal with the stuff over there and then grab you while we do over here and we can just hold our active ability to um essentially get get guys on our team there you go you're on our team now and it's just great to be able to charm enemies. I don't think the charmed ones can hit us either, which is even better. But look at that. Getting in there. Destroying everything. Oh, no. The, the feathers run out. It's going to take a little while to get used to how to... Okay. <laughs> we got pummeled in the face. It's going to take a little while to get used to how to charm things. Um, and, and like, how long it lasts and stuff. We can actually see there's a little sort of timer there on how long we can charm things for. So we have to pay pretty close attention to that, I think. Uh, we definitely need a weapon here. So let's... Okay, that is a very hard weapon to get. Um, this dude did a good job of taking out most of these, but we're now out of everything. Um, okay. We got to be real careful here. Real careful. 
because we are taking some damage. Okay, that was that was just bad from the start. Unfortunately, this merged gold weapon is actually kind of trash. Only having two shots in it is real bad. Um, let's grab you. So he should now kill everything in there for us. There you go. And then we can get in there and kill him ourselves. And just look at that. Of course, we've got to kind of manage our feathers and um, and watch out for chests and when we're actually needing to use it. But I think this is pretty cool. It's it, One of the coolest things about it is being able to just leave other enemies that you don't, like, want to kill. And that guy, yeah, that, that guy didn't hurt us then. But now again, we're uh, out of ammo. Oh, my God. We need to change over to the pistol. We can't use that weapon. It's too trash. <laughs> I'm, I'm dying so much to running out of ammo. Let's just use the pistol for now. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and mainly target bigger enemies with the... Um, could have done with the wrench earlier, actually. With the feathers, like this guy. Let's go for you. Because we don't actually have to use it to kill him. We can just use it to stop him from shooting us as we as we sneak past. And I think that's going to be a genuinely very good tactic with uh, with Mr. Parrot here. I don't know how this guy's going to scale into the later game either. I really don't know how he's how he's going to work later on. But he might end up being really, really good. Uh, being able to take a few enemies off your back and being able to take over some of the stronger enemies might end up being very, very important. Right, let's leave you to do that. Let's take the nail gun here. Grab you with that. Can we can we hurt an enemy? No, we once we once we take an enemy over, we can't self-damage them, which is pretty good, really. Pretty good. Nail gun here is doing work. And we got you up there as well. <laughs> oh my god. That's good. Having the parrot as our pet as well to start is fantastic. The parrot's very, very useful. Very, very useful indeed. Um let's just grab recycle gland for now, because we are using bullets. I think that could work out quite nicely. Let's grab you as our friend. This is so nice. It's going to be a bit confusing to know whose bullets are whose. But as long as this guy can't hurt us, I'm pretty happy. Can we take over a boss? Oh, we can. Awesome. That's so cool. Okay, we have to be real careful here. Um, Come here, dude. Come here. Of course, it's not like we can uh, take him over and then start killing him. That's not going to work. Okay, good. We're still on one ammo with this bad boy, so let's uh, pick up some ammo here. And then do that. I think this will mean a lot of kills for us. Ooh, that was close. It's a really... This is a really cool way to play. Yeah, I, the thing I didn't really like about it before is there was a few different quirks with charming enemies that made them very difficult to actually utilize. And it ended up being more of a gimmick than it was a genuine tactic. So it's really nice to see that, we, um, that we're getting something extra out of this. Let's take the uh, Prismic Eye and go with Herming. I don't know if that'll affect our nail gun, but we do have the uh, bullet regen thing. So I want to go for that. No, it doesn't affect the nail gun, unfortunately. I wonder if we uh, take over things that summon, if, like, this, this guy... Will he summon dudes for us? He will. That's so cool. Okay. This, this is a little much though, dude. Hey, guy. That's a bit much. Oh, God. We, we, yeah. I guess we might die there. That was a lot of rats. Holy hell. But it's going to take us a little, a little time to get used to. It's going to take us a little bit of time to get used to, I'm sure. Especially when we're walking into things. Come on now. I'm better than this. Great amount of rads there. Use our grenade launcher here and there to get a few extra kills. Especially when we see one of these. And of course, our little parrot just coming in clutch and grabbing everything for us. It's super nice. It really is. Saving grace here is going to be great. I'm, I want our throne book because I think our throne book allows us to carry more feathers. Which seems invaluable. Okay, I accidentally grabbed a maggot there. Not exactly what I wanted to do, game. I think you know that, don't you? Okay. Being a bit, a bit cautious here. It is good that you can literally aim at who you want to take over, though. I'm liking that. I am liking that a lot. I didn't know if it would work that way. I thought it'd maybe just random target. We can grab this and then just leave him. It's so good. It's so good. Right. It's just... I'm probably going to use it more for that than anything else. Just keeping some enemies at bay. Really? You didn't die from that? Keeping some enemies at bay so we can get by. Um, some of the bigger enemies that might be more annoying. There you go. Pickups give more feathers. That's great. Very much like that. Okay. Keep on going up here. 
This is quite different to our previous few runs where we've been uh, going for all the crowns and all the curse and everything. Curse Caverns was hellish, and people did actually confirm with me that that was vanilla, which is absurd. Come on, dude. Let's go. Take this motherfucker out. Okay. Do you, you, you handle him? Oh. Yeah, one thing one thing I'd love to see changed, but I honestly, I'd expect that they can't do this, otherwise they probably already would have. It's just having the charmed enemies fire slightly different colored projectiles. But I imagine there's a reason why that isn't the case. Just because if, if, you, if you lose charm on an enemy that you think you have charm on, it can be a little confusing and you can get yourself hurt quite badly. Yeah. This guy's about to run out of charm, so let's... Uh, Cut it off ourselves and kill him. And grab it on you instead. There's a lot of these dudes up here. I love that. That's so useful. Those guys especially, having them on our team, doing a bit of extra damage for us and not hurting us. I feel like Parrot is gonna make me a slightly more aggressive player. And it's gonna mean it's gonna mean I'm gonna probably die a little more. Because I'm already an aggressive player. But if it works out, I'm down with it. Yeah, don't, don't shotgun me, please. I'm already low health. Um, Sonic rifle, Sonic rifle. I guess we'll take a Sonic rifle. Game seems to really want us to, so why not? Good, good. Yeah, as you can see, our health's already a little low, which isn't great. Uh, let's take Rhino skin here. Could have taken the uh, assault rifle thing to, uh, to make our uh, bullet ammo a little bit better. But I think we're good with what we've got. Good, good. Make sure that car doesn't blow up directly on top of us. This Sonic Rifle's actually a lot better than I used to give it credit for. I always kind of thought this thing's a bit trashy, but... Genuinely seems very good. Also, Parrot being an absolute bro here. Minigun there. Really wish I'd have taken the ammo thing now. Getting a minigun is uh, pretty great. So I wonder if I, can see a, if I can see a crow really far away, for example... I can just do that on him. Okay, he just flew away from me there. I thought I thought it'd maybe make him come closer. Seems to be the complete opposite. It, it is just you left anyways. No, it's not. Ah, oh. stop it, crows! You're so annoying. <laughs> Why you have to be like this? I'm just I'm I'm wondering what are the best enemies to grab. I mean, sniper seems like a good idea. I mean, when he's actually got line of sight, that is. Okay, let's kill you. That's another good thing we can do as well. We can grab them. Oh, my God. Yeah, we can grab them, shoot them, and let go as soon as the bullet's about to hit. Like that. So they don't shoot at us, and then we can instantly hit them. Really good way of neutralizing targets, I think. Or at least I hope. This guy seems like he'd be great to take. Oh, he does actually change color when we grab him. That's very cool. I don't know how useful this guy's going to be. Seems like not super. Good, grab you. Damn it, killed that guy by accident. Oh well. Right, grab that sniper. Go like this. Oop, he's uh, run out of feathers. This is so cool though. I'm enjoying this a lot. Uh, what we got here? Slugger. I'll take a slugger. I think the slugger's a little bit better than the Sonic Rifle right now. Grab you. Get you close. Kill you. Easy. You're falling straight into my trap. Straight into my trap. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, I was going to actually take the assassin then. Maybe that was a good idea, but it's okay. Wait a minute. Can I take Big Dog? I've not really got the feathers to, to try it properly. That'd be great. Oh, I can. <laughs> okay, that time it changed the bullets. It's just certain enemies, it doesn't change them. Good. A lot of ammo there, but we got him. And then let's check what we got in our chest over here. Sonic shotgun. Is that any better? Ah, that's a little better. We'll take that. Sonic rifle to Sonic shotgun. Um... Let's go with the extra accuracy. It works for both our guns right now, so why not? 
The Kaboomerang is really good. Let's go with the Kaboomerang. Oh my god. Charm him before he hits me. And then kill him. <laughs> no, we won't take the Kaboomerang. Too dangerous. This is way safer. Um, take out these real quick. That's so good, though, how you can get an enemy that's running at you to, to hit you with their contact damage. You're just like, nope, you're mine now. Now you can't contact damage me. Think again, son. That's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, we didn't get a single big crystal this time. We just got the small ones. A prism. I kind of want that. Ooh, I like the prism. Seems cool. I don't know if this is new, but... I like the idea of it. Uh, yeah, let's take it over that and let's go with... Oh, wait, these are both bullet weapons now. Uh, let's go with that. Okay, got to be careful of the poison, but this seems pretty cool. Plasmite cannon. Ooh, plasmite cannon's great. Holy shit. Plasmite cannon's really fucking good. Way better than I've ever given it credit for. I don't think I've ever used it before, but I've definitely seen it. So I feel like a fool. This thing's great. Prism is the best. It's so good. Good, good. Oh, poison. Be careful. Luckily, we've got our parrot to jump in there and get the drops for us. He's literally kind of like our canary right now. I'm hitting myself with poison, so I need to stop. It's very easy to hit yourself with poison, because it can still hit you when it's like a pixel thick, which is really bullshit in my opinion sometimes, but hey her. Grab that for me. Plasma rifle. This is great. I'm loving this setup right now. Um, This is... This is tough. I think we take Bloodlust here because we need the HP. And just carry on going on with this. We got ourselves some vinegar, which... Uh, accuracy up, yeah. And we've already got good accuracy, but more's better. Okay, as long as we're firing the poison into an area in which we can control it, let's grab you. Hmm. Throw yes. <laughs> I was like, will he just throw the car point blank range at that guy? Why yes, yes he will. I love that. Don't activate that if we can help it. Oh, hello. You managed to get in here. Oh, I think I hit myself with this plasmite cannon then. Be very careful about that. Didn't know we could hit ourselves with it. Kind of obvious that we can, to be honest. So, my bad. Bubble minigun. Yeah, let's take a bubble minigun. Saw blade gun's kind of like, maybe, but not great. Oh, hello. You tried it. Bubble minigun uses maybe a bit too much ammo, but <laughs> what are we going to do? Okay, got to remember we've got big guy incoming. Big guy is on his way. Grab all that. Take out the smaller guys first. I mean, ooh, we got the tank. If we can manage to grab that. Yes, we are in the tank now. I don't know how we got the tank. I never know how you get the tank, but I'm very happy to have the tank. The tank is so fun as well. Okay, yeah, just try and shoot the legs. I'm trying my hardest to get them, but it's kind of tough to hit. Not quite sure what's going on here, to be honest. Am I hitting him or not? 
Doesn't look like I am. Okay, there you go. We got him. We were hitting him. Okay. In we go. Apparently, we are the tank now. Um, do I wonder if this affects it. i kind of got to try, haven't I? Yes, it does. It does affect it. Although it doesn't look like it's affected it, to be honest, actually. It visually affected it, but... Yeah, this is a lot of... A lot of shit going on right now. A hell of a lot of shit. Stop bringing them back, please, if you would. I don't know if we're taking damage by running into these guys or not, so I'm not sure if it's, like, worth it to risk not using ammo and just driving into them. Kind of hard to know. <laughs> I'm enjoying it, though. I love the way the parrot just sits up top. It's great. Hey, all of you down here. You fine folk. Right, grab that. Grab that ammo. Thank you. Super splinter gun. Okay, there's still something left over here. Hello. And you. Is that it? Yes, let it sit. Let's go. Tank it up, boys. You've got to tank it up. Got you. I, I, it's just, I just don't know the limits of this tank. Like, what can and I can't do that hurts me? Feels like I can just do everything and never get hurt, but I don't actually know. Has it got a health bar that I'm missing? Super drill launcher. But Dodge that. I do not know what health this tank is on. We are very low on ammo. Um, I guess we got a lucky shot. Rad manipulation is kind of tricky. Okay, we're back in this area again. Okay, we're out of ammo now. But let's be careful. What did we get there? The, uh, the chainsaw. Interesting. We got ourselves... Most hit bullets give, get given back to us. No, drive the tank. Don't get out of the tank. That's not what I meant to do. Don't ever misconstrue anything that I do as get out the tank. It's never going to be correct. Right, boom. That's a lot of big dogs. That guy did hit us, so I wonder if that did a lot of damage or not. Tempo gun. Got all our bullets back. Where are you? Last one. Got him. Right, let's go. It's time. We got ourselves the rainbow machine gun, the incinerator. We haven't really been using our active ability at this point, but we're a tank, so that's kind of why. I like the tank, and I love our little parrot buddy. Good thing is, parrot will grab us some stuff for us here. So we shouldn't run out of ammo. Although... Saying that, we are running out of ammo. Thank you for all the explosives. And here we go. <laughs> we looping, boys. What we got here? 
Heavy plasma something or other. Okay, we are getting a lot of our bullet ammo back, which is great. Good, good. Down we go into the loop. And we got our ultra. Uh, can charm multiple enemies. Uh, feathers last longer. Incoming damage is split with feathered enemies. I mean, unfortunately, we're not really using our ability all that much right now. So that doesn't matter hugely. Sadly. This is just so powerful. Oh, tank's gone. What the? F what? What? <laughs> what? Oh, well, we'll go for another one there because that we didn't really get to try that. Try out the feathers all too much there, but I just got out the tank and just died <laughs> immediately. Like, what? What hit me? I was out the tank and then it's just. Oh, you're dead, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thanks for telling me. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Shit happens. Looping's never easy. I just wish the tank had a health bar so you knew when it was going to break. Like, it just doesn't, I don't think. Oh, God, that's a lot of... That's a lot of worms in there. Toothbrush, no, thank you. I would have loved to have used the Ultra there as well. The Ultra seems really good. Being able to charm multiple enemies seems great. The shared damage one also seems very good if you manage to charm a boss for a good amount of time. Um, Go with the but... I know that the other stuff there is really good, but I want to try and use our ability a little more here. Crossbow, great stuff. Great stuff. Love being a little parrot me. Boom. Got him. Okay, brought our boy with us. The air stings, of course it does. Oh my god, there's so many maggots. Why is there so many maggots? Let's grab you. I think this, the mini scorpions might actually be like really, really good to grab. I'm very scared about being this close to this man, but I think we have to. The Kaboomerang this early seems amazing. Look at that. It's beautiful. Right, who's shooting us from up there? Who are you? There we go. You killed that guy for us and now you're dead. <laughs> oh my fucking life. I almost died. <laughs> Where's the last enemy? Oh, it's you. Okay. Wow. Oh, no, it's not you. What the heck? Oh, there's loads of guys over here still. Right, grab that guy. Kill everything for us. Thank you. Cheers. Just you left, hey? Really? Can, can we hit him, please? There we go. Nope. Still not dead. How are you still not dead? There we go. That took a little longer than expected. Um, let's go with impact wrists and bolt marrow. Bolt marrow seems great right now. We are using a crossbow, so I'm not going to complain about that at all. I wonder if using those poison guys is a good idea. Check what we got up here. Double weapon chests. Nothing great. But we did get a bunch of feathers though. So that's pretty nice. Don't really want to feather enemies that are just not worth it though. Go. Managed to get through here pretty quick. Take that. Bob and Weave. I know Bob, but who's Weave? Cool. Let's go. Does the Kaboomerang get herming? I can never remember. I don't think it does. It does use explosive ammo, so I doubt it does. But, I don't know. In a weird way, I feel like it should. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, let's grab you. 
Uh, it's kind of annoying how sometimes you grab them and they, they, they try walking straight to you. And in doing that, they don't attack any of the enemies right in front of them. Right. Bandit did a small amount of damage there. Grab this real quick. Flat cannon. I think flat cannon is better because it's less dangerous. It's less likely that I'll kill myself with it, so it's therefore better for me. Good, good. Rust everywhere. Well, I'm sure there is. But yeah, we kind of... I think one of the things with this character is going to be learning who to prioritize in terms of um, in terms of who to who to feather. Like I think the assassin's really good, but we got to be super cautious because if we if we let go of the feathers off, it runs out and he's next to us. It's a death sentence. Nice. Grab you real quick. Damn! Oh, we took a lot of damage there. Be careful. Fucking mega disc gun. I kind of want to try it. I know that I'll end up killing myself, but... I am what I am. Oh god, no, no! It came for me. We got the explosive crossbow, let's take that and run with it. Oh, that was close. We okay, though. I'm sorry, Scorpion. Where the hell is this last little buddy? Is he all... Yep, there he is. All the way in our spawn. Because why not? Oh, nope, nope. He's moved. He's moved all the way around here. Oh, and he's gone again. Stop it! Stop moving, you stupid crow! Um, let's take more drops. Right, getting some flat cannons in there. That's a lot of ammo over there, great. A big chest here. Laser, harpoon. Nah, nothing good. There's an eraser. The eraser can be good, but I want the Sire eraser. The Sire eraser is better. We had that like once and it was insanely good. Okay. Oh, little babies. Right, you. I'm taking over you. And then we'll kill you. I'm gonna take over you. Okay, accidentally opened up the rift, which is not what I wanted to do. Oh my god, there's too there's too many of them already. There's already too many of them. Get in there with a the flat cannon. Oh my god. Tricky, but we did it. We did it. And we got a few more of them over here. Right. Let's grab you. To be our friend. I see you down there. Okay, is that it? Nope. One more here. Two more here. There's got to be another uh, area. Lightning wheel. They must be getting duplicated up here. Oh, no, maybe not. Super splinter gun. Okay, we did it. Nice. Bit scary, but we did it. Grab rhino skin. I wonder what would happen if we take over one of the brains. I love doing that. Taking over the guy that's holding the card, he just throws it at someone. Oh, the sound on that guy is kind of weird.
Okay, there's a lot going on down here. There's clearly a lot going on down here. But we got it. We pushing through. We very much pushing through. Missed out on one chest there. That's okay. Splinter gun. Actually, let's keep you on board. In fact, no, let's not. Kill you. Keep you on board. And you can go now. Oh my god, no. Too many heckin' seals. What have I said about all you seals? You gotta, gotta learn when to quit. You gotta learn when to stop. Seals, go away. There's just too many of you. So much stuff there as well. Revive my boy. He's my boy. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Right. You're down. We got all that ammo. And we got something to the portal. Yes. Just in time. Um. Let's mutate later. We didn't do any of that. Let's hold off on that for a little bit. Good, good. Big shotgun. Let's take big shotgun. Why not? It's big. Oh my god, I love that. Yeah, big boy's coming in. I think. Yes, there he is. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of under his feet right now, which isn't great. Oh my god. The explosions are coming in. Okay, the bow seems like it's going to be really good against this guy. Oh, damn, he hit me onto one HP then. We got him. Good, good. That was close. He got me down to one HP. <laughs> I love Big Shotgun. Big Shotgun is the big best. Where is the last little fella? Boom. Got him. Yeah, another great run here. Um, extra pet slot. A third pet slot. That's kind of crazy. I'm going to go for um, strong shoulders or whatever it's called. Shotgun shoulders. And see if the, see if the big shotgun does insanely well. It kind of does, actually. I kind of love this. I've decided big shotgun shall be my child. Right, keep it going with these guys. I think there's a, a respawner dude down here. There's got to be. Yeah, there is. Ow. No more respawning, boys. Ow. Then I hurt myself and almost kill myself. Thank you, Parrot, for being there for me when I need you most. Is there another respawner dude down here? No, there isn't. Cool. A little bit light on the HP front, but hey her. More weapon drops, bullets hit gamma guts, we'll take gamma guts. Oh no! I thought I'd killed that dude. Ah, either way. Hope you guys enjoyed this delve into a new character. Let me know if you want to see more from the parrot. And I'll see about maybe getting a thumbnail cooked up for him before this episode, or maybe it'll be the one after. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.